I think I've been pretty much inspired by all of nature and all things. I, I can't say that as a child I wanted to be an astronaut. Um, I wanted to be everything and to experience everything. What also captures my imagination was when we went to the moon in 1969, looking back and seeing the Earth and how magnificent it was and how precious and fragile and how we needed to get rid of the boundaries, think about people in an international way and cultures. And so it's, it's like one big continuous uh, connection to me, the Earth and space, and, and it all captures my imagination. have had probably almost 6,000 children go through our academies in the last 17 years. Just since the outpost opened, we've had close to 1,500 children in field trips and Saturday programs uh, come through the outpost. So I think it is a secret, uh, but it, it isn't best kept anymore. I think it's, it's getting out to the general public. When you sit in a classroom, you don't always get to engage in the activity. It's just kind of listening. But when you really get to grab it yourself, it's the experiential kind of thing that the kids really grasp onto. And you can take that away with you. I think that's what really gets the kids excited. It's a lot better having it all hands-on, obviously. It gives them something to touch. It gives them something to feel, something to put with the lecturing and the talking. So it's definitely a lot better hands-on. It gives them a lot more to take with them. I think the whole concept of, of why we're here, obviously, is science and technology. Uh, but the environment is a key piece of what DASEF and the Outpost is trying to teach to young people. They need to understand that all of the ecosystems are connected, that humans, us, have an impact on what we see around us, and that we can, in fact, make a difference or we can harm the Earth. And what I've tried to explain to children is that if you think of the Earth as your best friend, how would you treat your best friend? The American Eagle, that's what we see in all the military, and the Eagle is a very important part of our nation. Is the Eagle bold or is the Eagle weak? Bold. Bold and strong, right? That Eagle really... Being out of the place like this, you know, with the different wildlife, you know, we understand that a lot of these things are extinct right now and, 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 and far and few, but to actually show them and give them appreciation of these type of things, it'll give them an idea of, of to work harder to recycle and, and do different things that help the community. I think it's key uh, that every child has an opportunity to understand issues, environmental issues, scientific issues, um, pollution. And they need to understand how we as individuals impact the environment. They need to understand the principles of science that apply, and they need to understand the engineering, whether or not they become engineers and scientists and teachers. We're hoping that we inspire all to be involved, but service positions are equally as important, and those people need to understand that they too can impact the earth. A lot of the parents who come to our academies in the summer and a lot of the teachers who have followed us for 17 years understand that we teach values, we teach integrity, we teach children how to communicate, to have respect for one another, and to listen, how important it is to be in a conversation and listen. We teach children how to shake hands and how to uh, approach different people in interviews. The whole piece of what we do is life. It's, it's what, what, are, what are we about? The young people get to learn leadership and cooperation. They get to do something in, an, in a unique environment. It adds fun to something that's learning, and when you can make learning fun, more of it sticks. It teaches students to think of school and of learning not in the context of a test or just a calculator. It tells them to think of learning as something that can be done with their hands and their brain rather than just with a pencil and, and, and a simple equation. It teaches them to think outside the box, which to me is just as important as passing tests. Obviously learning from a book is one thing, but actually getting the opportunity to, to work on experiments and, you know, Think about the experiments yourself and actually get in there and do them has really been a great opportunity. When I grow up, I want to be an astronaut and, and ride in the space shuttle.
We've always considered our job to be a little bit more on the cutting edge, to be more creative, to try to come up with things that perhaps in the schools there isn't time to teach or the funding uh, for them to be able to do those kinds of things. So we're making every effort to enhance, if you will, to enrich what they're doing in the classroom, but to come up with a lot of creative endeavors and things on our own so that we become unique in what we're doing. We've gone from a space-oriented group 17 years ago to one which now teaches Earth and space science, focuses on systems and how they interact. So I think we've grown. Ecosystems are incredibly important. The environment is incredibly important. And we've been moving in that direction for the last five years, and, and we have arrived. We're looking at iTech, the Innovation Technology Exploration Center, Phase 2. iTech contains 14 classrooms, about 6,000 square feet of exhibits based on land, air, water, technology, and of course the planets and beyond. And it will bring the general public to us to help us to extend our vision of inspiring them with awe and appreciation for the Earth and its place in the universe. My fondest hope is to have a place, as our visionary statement says, where we can bring families, bring children and their moms and dads, bring teachers, bring educators, uh, bring everyone here where they can feel safe, where they can appreciate the earth and its place in the universe, and see nature at its best.